You could be weak in verbal ability and reading comprehension for CAT. And I know that the painful thing about this is that while your QA and DILR might be strong, VARC is pulling down your entire percentile. With around 30 days left to the CAT, this video is intended for you that how, if VARC is a weak section for you, how can you make it a manageable section for you, if not a strength. This video is going to be focused entirely on those very important things which you need to do in this last few weeks, which can give you a very good chance to score a 90 plus or a 95 plus percentile in VARC. Hi, I'm Darpan Saxena, an MBA graduate from IIM Udaipur and let's get on with the video. Now I know it for a fact that VARC is unlike your QA and DILR wherein you can work hard, you can follow the tips which I shared with you in my last two videos and you can work hard on that and you can actually make QA and DILR your strength. But VARC is unlike that. In my opinion, the ones who have VARC as their strength, they are the ones for whom VARC has been a natural strength, which means that probably right from their schooling or right from the days of their undergraduation, they have been good with verbal ability. They have been good with English in general. However, while I'm saying that, I'm also saying that you need not always be good with English to crack VARC. So if that is something which you have in your head, then you can do away with it completely. And therefore, in this particular video of mine, my objective is to give you very simplistic advice. In fact, first of all, my objective is to help you identify that what problems are there because of which you're not able to score well in VARC and then simple 2.3 point advice of what are the few things which you need to do in these last three weeks, four weeks so that you can get a respectable score. So now I'll head on to my screen and I'll start off by explaining you that what are the basic things which you need to do, what needs to be your 30 day strategy for VARC. First things first, let's understand what VARC will be like. Let's understand the pattern for VARC. We know it for a fact that VARC is going to have 24 questions. That is what we know or that is what we can infer from CAT 2021. Now, from here, we also know that the breakup of this is going to be something of this sort where RCs, you will be having 16 questions. 16 questions in RC, which is going to be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So basically, four sets of four questions each. Apart from that, you have para jumbles, which is going to be approximately three questions. If you go by what CAT 2021 was, then you have para summary, which is again going to be around three questions. And then you have odd sentence, which is the remaining two questions. This is what it is. And we also know that all the MCQs, MCQs will be basically from the VA section, non MCQs. This is also the VA section. Okay, so not all of them are uh, non MCQs. So I should not have it like this. I should just say that, yeah, because this is VA and this is RC. We know this. If you are a cat aspirant, then you know this already. Now, what you need to know from here, what you can clearly understand and and you know i will also be making videos on this in the future that in varc for you to score good for you to score a 95 percentile comprehension reading comprehension rcs have got to be something which you need to be comfortable with i'll explain this to you why i'm saying this now if you understand it from here let me just quickly show you this if you understand it from here what's happening exactly here is that I can safely say that the RCs and the para summaries are pretty much the same because in both of these question types, what is happening is that even in the para summaries, you need to read a paragraph and you need to find out that which of the answer option summarizes it well. So again, in both of these question types, it is basically about how well you can comprehend it. How well can you comprehend the paragraph which is there in front of you? And here also, we know that we usually have a paragraph of about 400 to 600 words. Usually, that is what it is. 
So I'm simply saying 16 plus 3, 19 questions out of the 24 questions require you to have the ability of comprehension. This is one thing. This is one very crucial thing. I am I will be saying to you about these two important things. One is comprehension. So one of the problems could be comprehension. Now the second problem which could be there is the problem of speed. That while I am able to comprehend, I do not have enough speed and because of not having enough speed, my problem in my life is that I am not able to attempt enough questions so that I can leave myself with a chance to get enough percentile or a enough score. So the second problem will be speed. These two essentially are what the challenges is. I'll tell you something very interesting about VARC over here. Now what happens is that I said to you that VARC is very much unlike QA, unlike DILR. You know, in QA and in DILR, you can have a variety of problems. You know, each student who says that I am weak in QA could be weak in QA because of different aspects of it. So some might say I don't know how to do algebra well. Somebody would say that I am not very strong in arithmetic. Somebody else might say that I am not good with so and so things. Whereas the fact is VARC it's a very simple thing. If you are weak in VARC, it is because of only of these two things. There cannot be any other thing. It is your comprehension and your speed. So this was very important for us to understand that what the problem area is. That the problem area which we need to focus on in the last three weeks is the comprehension and the speed. Now further I will say one more very interesting thing. So now while I will be speaking to you about speed and about comprehension separately that how do you solve these problems, allow me to say this to you that even these two problems are interconnected. So it is not that you as an aspirant will either have the problem of comprehension or you will either have the problem of speed. It's not like that. You will have both of these problems. If you are somebody who is weak in VA, RC, these are both the problems. You will be having both of these problems. Why am I saying that? Because if your comprehension is not good, if your ability to understand a paragraph is not good, obviously your speed will drop. Obviously your speed will drop because you will take forever to understand what is being said. In the same way, if your speed is low, if your speed is low, that somewhere implies that you have a comprehension problem. So you as an aspirant cannot say that, okay, you know, my comprehension is good. However, my speed is not good. No, that means your comprehension speed needs to increase. And hence your attempt speed will also increase after it. Also, you cannot say that, you know, my speed is great, but my comprehension is not good. No, that cannot happen. Because if that is happening, then it clearly means that you are just answering whatever is there in your head. You just answer it and you go ahead and it still does not solve the comprehension problem. So now let me quickly take you through that what do you need to do in either of these uh, cases and the first thing which I will be speaking to you about is the speed problem. While comprehension is something which you need to focus on for you to solve the speed problem also, allow me to first speak to you about speed and let's quickly get away with the speed issue. One thing which you need to understand about the speed, the first thing which you need to understand about the speed is whether you have time clarity or not. Do you even have the understanding of how much time do you have in VARC or not? That is the first important thing. Let me try and give you some amount of time clarity. As we have said that there are 24 questions over here, out of which 16 questions, my dear friends, are from RCs, which are four RCs. RC1, RC2, RC3, RC4. This is your RC and then you have some uh, remaining questions. You have eight questions for VA. Also, what you need to know is that, which you know is that the total time you will be having for VARC is 40 minutes. I'll do a simple, I'll do a simple strategic understanding for you. This will be a simple strategic breakdown for you. Obviously, you need to separate out at least 10 minutes so that you can solve your VA. Simple thing. This is the least you need to be able to give to your VA so that you can give an honest attempt to your VA and Believe me, VA is that place where you can get an edge and score a higher score. So VA, you need to give at least 10, which means that you are left with 
30 minutes to wind up your RCs in and what you need to know is that you need to have this time clarity. This is the time clarity which I want you to have. Do you know that you have only 30 minutes to solve all four RCs? Now that you know this, now that you know that you have 30 minutes to solve all of these, this effectively means what? This effectively means that you need to have the clarity that for each RC you have around 7 minutes to solve a complete RC now which means that I am saying that in this 7 minutes you need to read as well as you need to answer the questions read and answers which means you can now do a simple understanding you can have a simple understanding of this that then probably my reading time per RC cannot be more than 3 3.5 minutes and the remaining remaining time remaining time is for answering it answering so which means it could be four or three and a half minutes you know it could be 3.5 to 4 minutes that is the simple thing that is the simple breakup my question to you is did you have this clarity did you have this clarity if not then this is the clarity which you need to have in terms of speed you need to be able to calibrate it like this second thing i'm talking about time clarity and application if you watched my video on the 30 day strategy to crack cat 2022 you would have you know you would have seen i have broken up your last four weeks into exactly how many mocks you need to attempt in each week if you've not watched that please go back and watch it very important in that you know that i have asked you to attempt a last few mocks as well and now you know it is in those mocks wherein probably you need to try this out you need to apply this that whether you know this thing or not that you need to be disciplined enough to solve it in this much duration that was the first thing that was the first thing about what you need to know about speed very important that whether you even have the time clarity or not now what are some of the other things which you must do to improve your speed in the last three weeks what are the some of the things the second point i'd say is that and if you are a good aspirant if you are a cat aspirant for at least an year or two you would know about this thing that there is a site called eon eon essays and all of your mock tests even the actual cat exam they pick their rcs from eon essays Eon Essays is a very rich collection of good writing. So if speed is a problem, if your, you know, if your speed of understanding complex sentences is a problem, then probably what you need to do is right now from now onwards, go on to eon.co, go on to their site and read one essay each day. And what I would actually advise you is that what you should do is read that essay and then on whatever topic that essay is, go ahead and watch a YouTube video. That will not only improve your speed, but it will also help you in your comprehension. Because now suddenly when you will watch a video on that particular thing, then not only will you have more idea about that, also you will be able to backwards you will be able to see that okay probably that is what they were trying to say when i had read the essay so this activity of reading plus watching something on that thing on the youtube will help you not only with your speed but also with your comprehension with that these are the two things which you can do about your speed as simple as that i will not give you any other thing i will not say to you any other advices that you need to do this 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 no simple thing one thing you need to have the clarity of how much time do you actually have and the second thing is that do you know do go ahead and practice it out in that same way now from there the second thing I will be speaking to you about is the comprehension that how do you improve your comprehension and I have simple two point advice for this in fact it is not even a two point advice for this you know a lot of people might be advising you that you know solve one RC each day two RCs each day this and that and I know in the last three weeks you can't do so much you can't do so much suddenly I know that my objective is to give you a very focused approach of what you need to do 
as a lot of you may know i was once the mba product head at career launcher and if you know about cl then you would also know about this great faculty called gjo gjo is truly a rock star in varc he is the best i have ever seen he is the best i have ever been a student of i mean i was also a student of gjo when i was an mba aspirant i will give you the link of two of his videos one is on rcs one is on the va those will be your two starting points just watch them do watch them do not skip them in the video on rcs he is explaining to you how to understand how to comprehend a rc very well he has taken you step by step he reads an rc and he helps you understand that how it is happening that what exactly is the author trying to say over there and then the same thing he will help you in the next uh, video he also helps you understand about va the various kinds of va questions now frankly if you go to his channel you will find numerous videos on va rc and frankly you should watch a lot of them but if you are confused that where to start then i am helping you that this is where you need to start these two are the videos where you need to start and then after that i am sure that only from these two you will get a lot of self belief that you can solve it and then all i am saying is after you watch those try and apply those same things on the actual exams of cat 2021 2022 and 2019 just apply the things which you have learned from his videos on these actual cat exams mind you i have not said to you that you know after you've seen that go and attempt a mock no a very focused approach you need to have your focused approach you need to work on your comprehension and your speed and even if you are able to solve the last year cat exams the cat papers and if you are able to improve your level of comprehension then you will be able to make it the bottom line of everything which i'm saying to you the bottom line of everything even if you forget everything else which i have said to you right now just remember this one thing that i am advising you that in the last 3 weeks there is not a lot which you can do the only one thing which you need to do and solve for yourself is your ability to comprehend how can you improve your comprehension that is going to solve it for you now something extra which i need to say to you that when exactly do you need to practice all of these a very small thing if you would have watched my video on the 30 day cat strategy i would have shared with you my four week four c's strategy these are my four c's i again would urge you to go back and watch that that is very important and i've explained it to you that 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 in all of these four weeks the last four weeks to cat which are the weeks in which you need to focus on your weaknesses and which are the areas in which you need to focus on your strengths if you go back and watch that then these two the weeks of calibrate and concentrate are the weeks where you need to give your weaker areas a chance weaker sections a chance and then in consolidate you go ahead and consolidate your strengths your strengths wherever they are and calm is when you just chill out and relax that's what calm is all about that's it so broadly from here you know broadly from here you know that what exactly needs to be a 30 day varc strategy this is what it is a very focused action plan for you solve for your comprehension that will solve a lot of problems for you now with that i hope that you've understood what is your game plan for the last few weeks to cat so that varc can be one of your strengths in the next video i will be speaking to you about how many mocks should we even take in these last few weeks to the cat thanks a lot for watching this stay tuned and i'll see you tomorrow thanks a lot